All right, it's 135, the Big Mommy's new up one for hip hop, RB, and the Breakfast Club. It's Famous Friday, and my brother is here, Ted Lucas, CEO of Everything Miami. <laughs> I mean, can I? Did a little something. Did a little something. <laughs> a little uh, slip and slide records, and um, not, uh, on top of that, you've done um, you know many other things. Mm-hmm. You've done so many things to help the careers of uh, many local home team artists here in South Florida. Some have moved on, yep. you know, uh, with their legacy, and some are still with you. Um, but it, it says a lot to you're really a home team kind of guy. Definitely. You know what I mean? No. So uh, you you have this event called Superfest Miami. Yes. All right. Can you explain what Superfest Miami is all about? Superfest Miami, to make it real simple and short, I think when uh, people come into Miami, we go and visit them on South Beach and other locations. For Superfest, I wanted to put a platform and, a, and a, something together in our community, beautiful city of Miami Gardens that's hosting the Super Bowl. I think it's great that we um, – have the tourists come over and visit and play with and party with us. You know what I'm saying? I, I I love you said that because I remember past Super Bowls. Yes. There was stuff going on in the area. Correct. What changed according to your knowledge? You know, I just think people um, kind of forgot about it. I was raised to where, you know, when people came in, they got a chance to experience some of the nightlife and some of the things that was able to offer. And uh, when things like this take place, they only get a chance to see South Beach. And I'm not knocking South Beach. Anybody know? I have a recording studio on South Beach. I think South Beach is beautiful. But it's more to Miami than just South Beach. Right. And I just think uh, when I heard about Super Bowl coming, it, it made me raise my eyebrows and say, hey, what can I do to make sure people get a chance to see what's going on in Miami, what's going on in Miami Gardens? And just get a chance. If you live in um, West Palm Beach, you might not want to ride way to South Beach. If you live in Homestead, you might not want but if I feel like we put something together good enough, we can get Palm Beach to come down and party with us in Miami Gardens, have Homestead get a chance to come party with us in Miami Gardens. And I just want to put on a first-class event to allow people to experience uh, if we're good enough to have a Super Bowl, it's a lot more to offer than just a game. So what's the setup like? Because now, you know, I'm excited. We've been talking about it on the radio, and people are kind of like excited and wondering what, you know, and if you drive up and down, because I, I have to pass it every day yes. <laughs> to go to my restaurant, and I see the big tent. I see one of the big tents yes. up already. What You know, what what are people anticipating? What what can we look forward to? Listen, man, first of all, um, I ain't, we bring in the closest possible to the Dade County Youth Fair to Miami Gardens. I think gotcha. it's important, you know, that our community get a chance to – participate and have some of their great uh, football players that they look up to to come out and have autographs and take pictures with those guys as well. So we got a carnival that we brought over from uh, Santa Enchanted Forest that came over. So we got a chance to bring that right into Miami Garden. So that's the first thing you're going to see. Nice. And um, I handpicked the rides myself. I told them, you know, it's Miami Gardens. I'm sorry, but we can't have no junk in Miami Gardens. Right, right. Got our first class rides over there. So we brought some nice new rides in over there. Um, we teamed up with a company called Bullseye. They've been doing nine Super Bowls. This made their tenth Super Bowl. We brought them in. We brought in some uh, top notch chefs who gonna come in and cook food for them as well. Got athletes coming to that event as well, taking pictures. Um, and then, man, uh, we got a fan fan day where we just bring this. I think it's important that people get a chance to come out. You ain't gotta pay. That's what I like about it. You know what I'm saying? From uh, 11 a.m. to midnight, you get a chance to have a great time. I got some of the best food trucks and the best restaurants in South Florida going to have food out there on display so you get a chance to experience and taste what Miami really tastes and feel like. That's important to them as well. Um, and just different people uh, that have pop-up shops that they're coming out. If you have merchandise, you get a chance to put some of your merchandise on sale and uh, get people to experience just the, the feel and what it tastes like to be a part of Miami. I'm and, excited about that. And, and I heard you have some nightlife, too. You're, like, building some clubs. Hey, and, man, you know. I um, got some uh, performances going on, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm definitely giving Liv a run for their money. Yeah, Ted Lucas said it. Giving Liv a run for their money. Got some glass, clear tent nightclubs that's coming over there that hold about 3,000 people. Wow. You know, it, it's definitely going to be a, a beautiful sight to see. Um, clear tents. Beautiful. I got some great promoters that came in. So what I thought about, by me growing up here in South Florida, you can go in a hip-hop club, then you can go to the next club next door. It might be a reggae club. You go to the club next door, you got a Latin club. I wanted to give that feel. So I ain't just put one nightclub in Miami Gardens. We put a club that's going to be able to give you hip-hop, and you're going to be able to hop to every club. You're going to be able to go to the club next door oh, wow. and get that Latin feel. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You go to the club next to that, you're going to get the reggae feel. And we're trying to bring us in the best 
DJs and the best <laughs> people like Papa Key to come in and help us support this and Absolutely. give people a chance to experience what it's all about. So I want you to come over here and uh, club hop, man. You know what I'm saying? You might spend an hour in the hip hop club. For an hour later, you might go in the reggae club. Hour later out there, you go in the Latin club and just have a great time. And like you said, that's how we're accustomed partying that's us, anyway. Man. That's us. That's us. <laughs> Ted yeah. Lucas here, um, Superfest Miami. It's coming. Um, so you're starting a little earlier than some other events. Yes. Uh, can you explain that? Um, so that's where like the carnival rides, yes. people will be able to enjoy those things leading into the that's correct. to the actual big so game. January 24th, we're going to open up. That's next Friday. We're going to open up. The carnival will be up and running. Um and uh, Taste of Miami be up and running. So people can come out, man. When you get off work next Friday, I want you to do your happy hour over in uh, City of Miami Gardens. Come over and bring your kids, bring your family, man, over to get on some nice rides. Yeah. Come over and, and, and get some of the best food that they got to offer. We got DJs out there playing music. And uh, take your shoes off, party, and have a great time, man. So I, it's like 10 days of ten different days. events. Yes, and... yes. 10 days, man. Um. There's so many different events. I can't even remember. Mom. You remind me about the club. Man, we got concerts going on. Got some great people coming in for that. And we got um, different DJs coming out to perform. People coming out. Locals don't get a chance to perform on local stages right. as well. Right. So I just wanted to be able to open that stage and be, be able to open that door so people get a chance to experience that. It's so funny because um, something I noticed, uh, I was reading some um, blogs and, and, and I saw that uh, the city of Miami Beach is um, – Hiring a, a bunch of cops, yeah. you know, to come in on these weekends, and um, I just want to remind our people, that's right, you know, and others that, you know, when these big weekends come, you know, when we we've been through the memorials, we've been through the Labor Days, we've been through everything, and it's not as inviting for us to go to these areas. You I know, co-sign whether, that. Right, I co-sign whether it be that. the beach and stuff. You know, when it ain't as bad, but yeah, you understand what I'm saying. Definitely. I mean, ain't much places to park over there, but that's right. Um, but especially the beach, you know, whether it's capturing your license plate Correct. and pulling you over and, you know, and all these different things. And I haven't even got to the traffic. No, you got to the traffic and you, <laughs> be, and you better not turn your music up too loud neither. You right. Know? So all these different, you know, type of things, um, that we have to deal with where we go to have a good time and spend right. our money like everybody else. That's right. But it's a different type of experience for us. Exactly. And, you know, it kind of it, it frustrates me to see, like, how we continually, and when I say we, I'm meaning collectively because yeah. I don't, yeah. but how collectively we as a people continue to put ourselves through these things. Yeah. And then when you have events like this where it is tailored yep. to our comforts and to us and stuff like that, you know, why we collectively won't be so overjoyed to, to, to spend money at, for people who want our money. That's right. That's right. <laughs> people who look like us. That's real. People who are actually inviting us and putting on events for us. That's right. For us. Because of the fact that we don't feel there's enough things out there for us. That's the truth. So I just want to kind of like just deliver that message, no. you know, while we have this moment because, you know, it, 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 I, I, I have to take my hat off to you. Thank you. Because a lot of people in your position wouldn't even waste their time, bro. Hey, you know, you just said something, man. Uh, Super Bowl was here 10 years ago, right? I took my son. It was the New Orleans Saints. I'll never forget it. And by me growing up in the Baja as a part of Miami Gardens, I seen that stadium get built. And when the Super Bowl came 10 years ago, I wanted to take my son to the Super Bowl. So, you know, I've been blessed and fortunate enough to, uh, you know, make a couple of chips. So right. I bought 50 yard line, first row, right behind, just to make my son feel like, you know, yeah. Daddy took you to the Super Bowl. You can that's one you can put underneath your belt. Right. And that was a great experience at that particular line. Ten years later, I think it's more to it now. I think it's for me to be able to come back to my community and let my community get a chance to get involved in the Super Bowl. Right. Not just I can go to the game again. No. I, I can do that. But that ain't what it's about for me. Right. It's about my my community get a chance to experience what the Super Bowl is really all about. And let me be able to impact many more kids' life, not just my son's life. But so many more kids. You get a, a kid get a chance to take a picture with his favorite football player. Right. Get one of his football players to do an autograph. They, they would never get a chance to do. Mm -hmm. You know, I feel like um, the city of Miami Gardens got one of the best football programs it is. And I know these kids' big dreams of playing in the NFL or making it the college to play football. And this is Super Bowl. This is what they look up yeah, to. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I want them to be able to go, go shake that kid hand. Man. Go shake that, that football player hand. You know what I'm saying? And take a picture with them. You know what I'm saying? Something that can impact their life that they'll never forget. You know? I even take it down to this. Dad working all week hard, you know what I'm saying? And he got four or five kids. He can't afford to participate in the Super Bowl. Yeah. But dad, it's free. 
Yeah. You know, bring your family out. There's a family event. Bring your family out, have a good time, walk around, and, and get a chance to experience that, man. And um, I don't care. If grandma old and she's been in this community for a long time, bring her out too. We got some nice things. <laughs> I'll make sure grandma's straight as well. So That's I want to make up. sure the whole community come out and support Superfest in the beautiful city of Miami Gardens. It's important to me for me to come back to a community where I was from. I thank the city of Miami Gardens, mm-hmm. uh, the mayor, Oliver Gibbert, for supporting my vision. And understand, yeah, when I yeah. made that phone call, he said, Ted, come see me. You know what I'm saying? Most mm-hmm. mayors wouldn't even understand that, but I thank my mayor for understanting that and, and, and supporting my vision and helping me accomplish what I've been able to accomplish. And that's the beauty of it all, man. So listen, everybody log on to Superfest Miami. Uh, tickets are available. Tickets are available. We, you, dro- you, you dropped a truckload of tickets for us to give away. Yes, yes, So yes. we're going to have fun with that uh, all week long, uh, right up until the, you know, the big game itself. That's real. You know what I mean? And uh, make sure you follow Superfest Miami on all the social media platforms, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. And uh, more announcements are coming. More announcements you know, are coming. Because we already right announced now. Plies, yes. Danny Lay, and Polo G. That's just a few. That's a few to name, mm-hmm. and some more coming out this weekend. That's what's up, man. Listen, Definitely. Ted, continue doing what you're doing, man. You have my support, man. I'll be out there with you, and I, and I appreciate, you know, these are the things, man, after you've been successful, whether it's radio, whether it's the That's record real. business, you know, these are the things that really matter to us now is what do we do with our legacy and how we take care of the people That's who real. are around us. You know what I'm saying? So I really, you know, if I had a hat on, I would tip it. But. Now, let me tell you something, man. Um, real talk. I respect you, man. You know what I'm saying? It's Friday, famous Friday. Like, a lot of people understand how important this is. Artists look forward to coming up here to sit down with you and do this. Then you put on a concert in the community. You don't have to do that. That's something that comes from your heart that you choose to do because you've been through it. You've seen it. You can say, man, I'm, I'm good. I don't did my time, you know. You can just go back home every day, kick your feet up, and come back to the, work, to the radio station and just chill. But you do more than that. You reach out to the community. I respect you for that. And that's real talk. And I thank you for just being a leader in this community as well, man. Yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? Definitely. That's real, man. That's real. Definitely. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's real. That. Definitely. Some people forget. I don't yeah, know if they still hear me. <laughs> I'm going to keep it real. Some people, you know, they make a cup of chips and they forget where they come from. And you know what I'm talking about. And yeah. um, that's just the way I feel. You know what I'm saying? No, no, people, I appreciate some it. Some people get to that point. But don't forget where you came from. This community has built a lot of great people. You know what I'm saying? I just, I'm one of the ones, I ain't going to forget that. Right. I tell everybody, when Nipsey died, man, uh, everybody, man, what could you do different? Man, listen, things happen, man. That man was in his community, impacting his community, making the kids see uh, a businessman in their community. Right. And people need to see more people like you and I come back to our community giving back. Big facts. Ted Lucas, Slip and Slide Records, amongst many other things, but Superfest Miami for the next few weeks, and that's for sure. Support your own man right here in the beautiful city of Miami Gardens. It's 135 to beat Miami's new number one for hip-hop, R&B, and The Breakfast Club.